Howdy folks, TJ here. I'm actually tired today, but I do not want to delay opening a package from overseas. I've been busy these last few weeks. I have trade show seasons, so not only did I work Monday through Thursday or Friday, but I was flying to places for weekend trade shows. And trade shows are fun, but they're grueling and they're a lot of work. I haven't been off a day since the 7th of this month. So by this coming Friday, when I finally have a day off, it'll be three weeks. So I'm a little tired and I might fall asleep during this video. But I wanted to do one because I wanted to get this package open. Along my Sinclair travels, I've been learning about other computers from overseas. And when an opportunity came up to where I you know, could get one, I decided to pull the trigger. Uh, even though my uh, focus right now is Sinclair, and I still, of course, love my Atari. There's some other platforms that are quite cool, and I want to eventually digest and get into them more. And this is one that kind of caught my attention, because I like the processor. The computer looked bitching, and I'm always an aesthetics guy. Even though I'm ugly and I'm not aesthetically pleasing, I like good-looking computers. And um, so I decided to pull the trigger and get one. So I've got this package here. I'm going to pan down the camera. Maybe position the light a little bit better before I fall asleep again. And if I fall asleep or I'm droning and slow, I do apologize. But I wanted to get this open and I didn't want to delay it anymore. So let me position the light a little bit. We're going to get the camera down here on this box from the UK and show you what I just picked up. Oh. Oh. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So unfortunately, cassette box took a beating. I'll uh, play with that stuff later. That one is intact. This one's beat the bupkis. Uh, and here's a book. Hopefully everything's in here that uh, I'm supposed to get. So. What did I get? An Auric Atmos computer. Here's the big book that, um, and thankfully it's in English, so I'll be able to use it. And some tapes, we'll go over those in a minute. But let's get the bubble wrap off this package here. The box is in the best of shape, but it's a box, and it's always nice to have a box. Why I got it is uh, I kind of know the gentleman on Facebook and um, made a pretty you know, good uh, offer to him, and he accepted, and, and so, uh, yeah, we made it work. All right. Auric Atmos. Here's the box. Like I said, box has got some tape and some missing uh, side flap and stuff, but hey, um, like I said, I was kind of buying for what comes with it. There's the box. Put this over here. All right, is there a top or bottom? I'm going to wing it and think this is the top. So, let me take a quick little look at my computer before I show you. Cool. So, I got to say, for a slick looking computer, the Auric Atmos is definitely the bee's knees. Look at these keys, the red or orange. I'm a little colorblind, I think, so should be, uh, I guess, red, technically. It looks orange to me. So here's computer, front, really nice keyboard. Here's the back, back, front. Sides don't look to have anything, but the back wheel, ports, 
and I'll figure out all this stuff as I read the, the manual. I also picked up a cumulus device, which is an SD card type of device that connects to the Auric and allows you to load software. So that came with it. That was part of my deal that I made with him. Here's a cable. I'm not quite sure what yet. I'll have to figure it out. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'll have to read the book. Power supply and tape recorder cable. And um, this power supply looks like it's had some, somebody's probably been into it and repaired it looks like over time. It's looks like somebody took a pry and just really pried the hell out of it. But uh, it is an Auric official power supply, so that's cool. And I'm gonna pick up um, a USA 110 volt one eventually, but it's nice to have the original and I can test it since I have an up transformer. Also, some other cables. Uh, let's see, a SCART cable. Which so I'm going to be using this with my HDMI uh, SCART adapter. So I've got the proper cable. So cool. Uh, games. So like I said, it looks like the cassettes uh, got beat up on the way to here. But Harrier Attack. Football manager, <laughs> and this is the one that looks like uh, need to. Uh, yeah, it's busted up, but yeah, such is life. I always seem to. Anytime I get games from overseas, I seem to have uh, those type of issues. And Xenon, Exxon, Xenon. <laughs> cool. So it looks like it mostly made its way over here safely. Let's get this little bad boy, take a look at it. My next step will be to connect it up to my HDMI SCART device. See if she boots up, but there she is. Auric Atmos. Maybe if I really enjoy the heck out of this, I'll also get an Auric 1. And then I know there's some other Aurics, like a Stratos or something like that. Yeah, I don't think I can afford that. I think it's one of those real expensive ones. But this one I was able to uh, get done. And hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'm probably not as hyper as normal and excitable. But I'm a little tired today. So hopefully you forgive me on that. But uh, thanks for watching the unboxing video. And in the future, I will make another video that uh, shows me booting this up for the first time and seeing what the heck it does. So thanks for watching my video and have a great rest of your day. See ya. All right, it's testing time for the Auric Atmos. I have it connected to my Sony LCD display, and I'm using a SCART connector that was sent with it, the one that I showed in the video. And I did also connect up, and it's a little awkward. I don't know if it's the cables came this short or whether they want you to put a box underneath it so it uh, sits here like this or what, but it... Uh, I kind of like my drives and stuff to the side and there's really no room for that so it's kind of a, just a little bit of an awkward setup here but anyway uh, this is the cumulus device that I had connected to it and this uh, SCART cable is kind of unique it came with a little Y cable connected to it so not only does it go to my SCART HDMI adapter device but uh, the main power cord uh, for the uh, Auric plugs into this with this little cable and then its little cable then plugs into the Oryx. So I guess the SCART cable must need some type of uh, electronic feed to work properly. Um, kind of unique but uh, anyway that's how it's connected. So I'm going to try to turn it on. It is running 220 volts so I'm using my, and you can't see it in the picture, the uh, UMI uh, up trans transformer. So hopefully everything works. So um, do I have the cable and everything connected? I, you know, I don't have the S-Video cable, I don't think, connected. I better do that. Oh, no. I got the HDMI. What am I saying? Got the scar. It's all connected. I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> I forgot that I'm going to the HDMI, like I said a second ago, to the back of the computer. So, all right. Uh, let's hope for the best here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. 
no operating system on disk. All right, so the gentleman I purchased it from gave me a little cheat sheet and uh, tells me how to use this Cumulus device. So we're gonna do that. So kind of cool, I'm, I don't think I'll pan in on this. Maybe I'll do a future video on the Cumulus, but there's some buttons on it and a little LC, uh, uh, screen on it that has A, B, C, and D. And uh, it says to load a disc, do the following. Press the top right button on the, of the set of three. So I'm pushing that. And then up comes a little uh, Cumulus uh, directory. I guess I'll go, and it says to move. I use the left two buttons to move up and down. So I'm going to go down the disc, I guess, and then hit the top right button again. That's supposed to go into the directory. And then I see some stuff in here. No clue any of it, but... Buggy Boy sounds interesting. So I'm going to go down and select um, Buggy Boy. Hit the top right button. And now it reads Buggy Boy next to it. Okay, cool. So I'm so far so good. Then press the middle button to access the menu. Alright, and then I see some options and it's telling me to reset Auric. So I'm going to go down and select that and hit the top right button and it's asking me yes or no, I'm going to say yes. Insert system disk, so it looks like it's doing something. This is where maybe I'll pan in the video here. Oh! Yes! Looks like maybe a demo kind of uh, program. Cool. That's probably good for just a quick video. That seemed pretty painless. A lot of buttons to click and stuff to get to uh, something to run. But yeah, I think once you get used to it, it uh, worked good. I just got to figure out how to make this. Uh, maybe I stick a little box or something underneath it. Hold it more level. This is no PC demo. This is far brash demo. Alright. So I'm just going to let the demo run a little bit just to kind of... It's the first time I'm running this computer so let it run for a little bit. No idea how long the demo is, so I won't let it run forever, so you don't have to bear through it, but we'll watch a little bit. Surgeon General Warning. Oh boy, a bear. Nice. Cool. Okay. I think that's enough for this video to say it works. I now have an Orc Atmos. I'll explore it more and do some more videos here in the near future. So thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.